um, do you do you think that um you've um and this is gonna sound bad, but fuck it, whatever. Do you think you forced him? Oh, I think like, do you, if he's a marble, did you drop him down a really tiny, narrow tube and force ever, him down? <laughs> if anyone ever accuses you or me of forcing Tyson to play football, to play quarterback, they are dead on. What I mean. You couldn't he be He didn't have more, a choice. He didn't have a choice. No, not even a small choice. Uh-huh. uh-huh. No. Even though, even when there were times that it was maybe a better choice to play him at different positions, it was not even considered. It To the point that you could get fired from our coaching staff by even whispering it to one of the other guys. Oh. So how do you do that? How do you force your kid to do that without breaking his spirit? It's very fine line, tough, tough. You know what? I don't even advise it. When I, when I, uh, when I'm, I coached the kid, I gave a session today, eight year old kid wants to play quarterback. His dad wants um, me or one of my kids. I tell him my price per hour, which is pretty extraordinary for our area. And then what it would cost for Ezra to do it. And he's like, listen, I, I I can't wait for Ezra to come back. But since Ezra's in Florida, we'll have you do the session. I did the session today. And the whole time, as I'm talking with the kid, the kid's dad is over there in the corner. And the kid's dad wants to make sure. And he's, you know, he wants to make sure that the kid is being overly um, coachable. Right. So he want, you know, whenever his dad snaps at him, the kid looks at me in my face and walks closer right to listen. And then the kid goes back to being a regular kid again and taking instruction. But the whole time I'm over here and I'm thinking this poor kid, he's got, he got this hover, this helicopter dad over there. That's dream is bigger than this kid's dream by 10,000. Right. And about 10 minutes into judging this guy, I realized, well, that's me. I am that guy. I just did it personally rather than paying someone a ridiculous amount of money to train my kids. But honestly, it does not matter which, which route you take. Um, but I do feel that if that, if that situation doesn't work out and that kid's not as good as the dad wanted him to be, and the kid decides to no longer participate in that sport, that, you could imagine that the kid would have a little bit of uh, power or at least an argument as to, man, dad was a psycho and now we're not even good friends because of it. Um, and then if the kid makes it, then the dad's a genius for pushing the kid and making it work. So I think our story with me and Tyson, it appears that I'm a genius for pushing him. But one thing I know about these stories is you got to wait till they're, you know, they're over before you can reflect and see if it was good or bad. But as of right now, it's, it's going pretty good. And he was 100% psychotically pushed into one role. And, and, and we, we pushed it hard.